everybody, this is Peter from Germany and today I want to show you my four-way hydroponic growing system. So here we go. This is my system and I combined four different methods into this little box and these four methods are a fogponic system, a top drip system, an aeroponic system with spray heads and a deep water culture system. I combined these four systems because I don't have much space here in my flat and I wanted to build a system that is as adjustable and as adaptable as possible. So the system is not running right now but I'm going to show you all the different parts individual right now. Alright, let's start with the fogger unit this little box I installed the fogger unit. I'll open it up and we'll have a look at it. All right, here you can see my fogger box. It contains a big tube. This big tube goes right into the box below. This is where the fog is supposed to go. Then you can see at the back there a little overflow so that the water that comes from the box here goes in here you can control it with this check valve and goes into the fogger box so that the water doesn't flow through the big tubing this is where the fog is supposed to go no nope. if there's too much water it goes into the little overflow which goes just right there, back into the box. All right, here you can see the electricity cable for the fog unit, which is the most important part, and is you can see here. All right, I start the unit, and you can see it work. One second, please. All right, there it goes. As you can see, it sprays around and fog is produced and the fog runs as intended through the big tube into the box. Now I'll show you a little view into the box. And there it goes. It, the fog comes out of both sides of the tubing. I put a T there. Divided in both halves of the box. All right, I have to stop the fogger now because if I don't, the fogger will run dry and will burn, and this is not what I want. All right, this is the first part, the fog unit. All right, let's come to the next part of the system, and this is the top trip system, as you can see here. And I built the system with those special drippers that are adjustable, so I can control the water flow of these drippers. Just have to turn them, and you can see the water amount is increasing. Or I can turn them way and there are less drops. Well, this is pretty nice because you can adjust it so that the little plants get um, less water than the big plants. Yeah, that's it. Um, the chop drip system is easily built. Here is a water flow, comes out of the box, goes to each dripper. And at the end, there is an end cap. Uh, here you can see it on the other side. All right. um, the top drip system is important for especially little plants, because the little plants don't have uh, roots that are long enough to reach into the box. So they have to get their water from somewhere else, and this is the top feed.
Now I want to show you the aeroponic system. I open up the box and I'll show you the view inside. So here, as you can see here, I have built in some sprayers. These are two different types of sprayers. Um, this in the middle here is a 360 degree sprayer and this is a fogging sprayer. Um, it's pretty nice. I have really a lot of water spraying in there when the system is turned on and I can control every sprayer itself with this little valve. If um, up there is no plant I can turn them off and there is no water spray where no water spray is needed. I can control um, the strengths of the spraying and yeah, as you can see I got these valves at every sprayer. tight in there because the tubing is a bit hard but I will explain that later. Yeah, as you can see there are the sprayers. I um, put them on two circuits so I can control the 360 degrees sprayers and the fogging sprayers individually but I'll show you later. Alright, this is the spray system. I'd like to turn it on, but I think it would spray all over the place, so I'll better leave it off. Okay, this is the spray system. Now I show you the last part, the deep water culture. The deep water culture um, is at the bottom box. I got those little tubes here. Um, as you can see here comes the air tubing from the air pump and goes into these little tubes and I put it, I'll turn it on, one second please. Deep water culture is important when the roots grow longer and reach into the water. At the back here you can see there are some roots, some pretty long roots, um, but they just dip into the water, so they are not so long, which I hope there will be a big root mass someday. And it will dip into the water and get oxygen from the bubbles. Alright, um, I got two of these tubes. This is why I also have two air tubes that go there into the box and here they start at the air pump. Alright, this is the deep water culture system. So, in conclusion, four different systems combined. The fogger unit, that, that it's pretty moist in here in the box. You, there's always a little fog in the box. Then the top drip system for especially little plants that have no roots in the box. The spraying system for plants that have roots in the box and need them to be wet filled with fertilizer, nutrients, and the deep water culture for the really, really big plants where the roots hang into the water and get their nutrition and water from there. Alright, that's it so far to, to the four-way system. And now I want to show you my tubing in detail. Right, now I want to show you the tubing. The tubing is a little bit hard to film, but I'm trying. 
So as you can see here in the middle at the bottom, there is my pump. It goes up to this tubing here and goes through the side to those two valves. Those two valves control the two circuits of my spray system. There is the first circuit goes around there and back there and the second circuit starts here and goes the other way around maybe you see at the end there are some end caps sprayer that's the dark there is an end cap so um, I can control with these valves. I can control each spray line individually. So the 360 degree sprayers and um, the fogging sprayers are controlled each by one valve. This is this tubing at the bottom. Then there goes a tube up. This is the feed for the top drip system which I can turn off at this well and goes there at the top of the lid. Here this little tubing in front of this shut off goes to the fogger unit. Um, it's just that the fogger just there that the fogger doesn't run dry and burns. Yeah, that's it. It's um, it looks difficulter, more difficult than it is. But yeah, maybe you see it now. There's the end cap again. I'm shadowing it. Okay, yeah. All right. I hope you got it. Seen it. All right. Okay, this was it. I hope you liked the video. It was my first one, so the camera work wasn't that good, I know, but I hope you liked it. And I want to thank everybody that did some similar videos because they helped me to build this system, and I really appreciate your work. So if you liked the video, press the like button, and see you next time.